Hi, this is Zach Lipson of the Jason Martin Group, also known as Mr. Fix-It, the Realtor, back with a quarantine edition of the episode. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to build a swing set. Um, because my daughter can't go to the playground right now, I decided to bring one home to her. So I went ahead on Amazon and ordered the Backyard Discovery Beach Set, and I'm going to show you how to build it. The backyard discovery. We're gonna open it up and then we'll start looking at the directions. The ribbons! So here we got our manual. It says it's gonna take 10 hours. Organize all the parts alphabetically. So I've got everything out here. Everything except for these parts have I gone through. So that's the first step to making sure that you are efficient in your time. Another important thing to keep in mind, aside from having a level space, is making sure you've got enough room for swings and all that stuff. So you wanna set it back far enough from any sort of obstacles or uh, any areas that you normally would use. We're gonna be putting these plates in here, both of these E7s. I've already taken out all my bolts, brackets, nuts, and everything like that to make it easier to do. I've gone ahead, just screwed these in by hand, but what's gonna happen is I'll drill in from this side and these pieces will eventually just dig in. You see they've got claws in there. We're continuing with the monkey bars. We gotta just replicate what we have on each side of the page for the instructions here. And I've decided just to make things easy, set up all my screws, bolts, and everything like that beforehand and get all the materials per page. So first thing we're gonna do is we can go ahead secure the bracket here kind of the same way we did up here the other side of this comes out flush all right secured now next up we've got a little handle here we're going to screw in as well there's pre-drilled holes here on the top and bottom now we're going to go ahead and install the blue rungs these are to use step on to access the monkey bar and then as well to hang on now we're going to install the base here. We're going to drill this in like such and we'll have it so that this goes in like this. So when I drilled that, even though these are pretty drilled holes, there is a tendency for it to crack the wood. So the next one in, I'm actually going to go ahead and pre-drill a little bit bigger. We're gonna go straight through here. So I've started assembling this bench assembly and I just put these brackets on. I'm gonna take some screws and screw these other pieces onto it as well. There's no guide on this, so you have to kind of eyeball where it goes. Because this wood is cedar, it's very soft. It goes through real quick. There is a bit of a finish side, so you want to try to keep the finish side facing out. There's holes now to drill this through, but the problem is there's no template on this side. So again, I got to eyeball it. You want this to be flush to here. As with any set of directions, there's always something left to be desired. They don't tell you where exactly to drill these holes, um, but fortunately these planks fit right on top of here. So you just drill it straight on top of this piece. You just center where your hole goes on there. And I'm making sure to set these screws down a little bit. We don't want them sticking up. We don't want to get anything caught in them. We're going to go install um, our brackets on our swing beam. Install this piece on each side here. Gone ahead. Attach this cross member to both of these pieces here. So we're going to go up to here now. I did some play last night and I spent about an hour, hour and a half putting all the nuts and bolts together by labeling the page number and bagging them in bags associated with pages to make the process quicker. They recommend pre-bending this to make it a little easier to put in. Both sides it is. It is ultimately going to go 
and a little groove here. And we're going to put some wood underneath it. Good job. You're hired. Thank you. So we've now drilled these pieces in here. And then we're going to put the other side of this on top of this and screw it down. So I'm getting ready to connect the front to this piece here. What I'm going to end up doing is pre-drilling a hole for it. So I've got all the spacing laid out, taking our bolts, putting them through. Finish side is underneath, um, so we're leaving the numbers and labels things facing this way so you can't see them or hide them as much as you can. I've got all my materials here to build the other wall that will be on the other side, building a box. We're going to be connecting both side pieces to be done with these pieces here. We're going to go like this, the two spots here and here, and then we'll go on top. This is probably why you need two people. provide some room up here. It doesn't give an exact measurement of where you want this to be. So next we're going to go ahead and put our little pickets here. The suggested spacing, or says typical spacing, is 3 and 1 16th. So I will measure that all across. Now we're going to go ahead and install this piece here. Got some little brackets that will screw it underneath. So I'm making sure to screw straight down. If I don't, I'm going to hit the other piece, which is pretty narrow, and splinter it. So part of it is I'm listening and looking. I can hear there's no splintering. You can, you can hear it when it happens. Holes here to pilot. Screw these little pieces in. Next, we're going to install some cross bracing here. Same way I did over there, I'm just bolting it. I four of these little J9 supports. Now these are supposed to be flush in the corner here. So next up, we're going to put a four support in here so we can put our boards across. So I've got these two brackets on. I'm getting ready to put the awning on here. It's time to put down our flooring, so let's go. A little spot underneath here well, where I will secure it with two pieces. I'm going to secure two pieces with this bottom plate here, and then we're going to have another piece come right in. secure this corner piece here with this little bracket and these two little bolts. Next up we're going to go put our pieces in that kind of wrap around the sides like this and on the back.
wrap this around. Just loosely placing this right now. So there's a part here in the floorboard that they didn't indicate which way to put it. There was a hole over here which has to actually be facing in and it wasn't noted about that. So now I have to take the board out or flip it back around. Easy enough to fix, but I've had to do a number of these I haven't shown you. I have the slide up just for purpose of entertaining my daughter overnight. It's not secured on here. This is where I'll go. I'm gonna put our handles up here now. Now I'm going to go ahead and install these, doing the same spacing as we did below. Gone ahead, replicated bars on this side, on that side. Spacing is exactly the same on both sides. However, the spacing is different on this side. It's going to be 2 and 13 sixteenths. Now that we've got all the pickets up here, we're going to go ahead and build out the rest of the top of the frame. And then after that, we'll be able to start putting in place everything to put up our bigger awning overhead. We're going to start with the H4 board. It's got some poles piloted in it. We've got poles piloted on these 2x4s up here. building a frame that's going to come up and then we're going to be able to run our uh, awning on top of that. This part is a little tricky because I don't want this to rip out either. There are some holes piloted here. So it makes it easy to know where to drill through. I'm connecting the last piece of the roof here. Next we've got these little pieces that are going to go up here. Now, there's no markings on this, so I'm just eyeballing this, but this is supposed to essentially be a half moon. I'm about to use the sledgehammer and just tapping in the ground, taking a level, making sure it's level both ways. Uh, you could otherwise take a shovel and just dig out what you need to. I have leveled the ground here. It was off by about three to four inches, which doesn't sound like much, but it is a lot of touch and go. We have to come back and put everything in and see how far off it is and take it out, put it back in. Mine is just follow the pattern. Make sure you're keeping the rock handles where it's supposed to. There's already pre drilled holes for those. Now, time for some of the fun stuff. I'm going to be putting on the rock handles. They have arrows to tell you which way they go. making our final connections for other things we made previously like the bench. And now to make this thing official. We're 
to put together our swings. We've got the, um, the actual bottom of the swing here. We've got a little uh, kind of carabiner, and I've stuck it through here. And I'm going to go ahead and chain through here, screw this all the way down, nice and tight. Another swing and the handlebars here. So now we're going to go ahead and install the slide. We're going to do that by drilling some holes through the bottom of the slide and then bolting it down. So these won't be flush. I mean, they're going to sit out a little bit, but should pose an issue with getting caught on or anything like that. The last thing to do now is set our anchors in. We're going to be setting these at a 45 degree angle and then affixing them here. I put my end cap in here. I'm going to just screw it from the other side. Now it's all secure. I'm happy to say after more than 10 hours, I'm finally finished. Slide, swings, monkey bars, a little bench, the works, a little rock climbing wall, that captain's wheel, and you can keep an eye out for invaders, but more likely bodies, as L likes to say. That's supposed to come off. Success, I'm done. It took a little bit more than 10 hours, about 13 to be exact. It said it would take about 10 hours for two people. I did it by myself, pretty proud of that. I had to improvise a little bit, but all in all, really pleased with the final product. I really like this swing set for the price point too. It's kind of in the lower, not the low end, but the mid low. Um, and if you're looking at swing sets, I'd be happy to talk to you, give you some advice, tips, things I learned in the process. And for more great videos, be sure to subscribe and check out more.